around the world, communities are embracing clean and healthy solutions to fight the climate crisis. With a global agreement now in place, the time for action is now. conductor is? Lauren? Something that allows electricity to flow easily. Right, it allows electricity to flow through the wires easily. Richardsville Elementary School is the first net zero school in the nation. A net zero school is one that uh, basically consumes less energy than it produces. These solar panels that you're walking on are called thin film. They actually adhere to the roof with Velcro. These panels each generate electricity and then they're collected along these connectors and those feed directly into the building and that's where they're converted into electricity that we can be used to put back on the grid. Instead of us writing a check to the energy company each month, the energy company writes us a check at the end of the year in the amount of approximately $35,000. Some of the ideas that we incorporated here were big ideas to start with. Geothermal energy, insulated concrete forms for the structure of the building. We also knew that in order to reduce energy to the amounts that we were talking about, the commercial kitchen that every school has had to be dramatically redesigned. This is our kitchen. Uh, my name is Alicia and I am an energy team leader. Energy team like does different activities that helps kids get motivated into saving energy and hopefully doing it the same at home. If you see over here, it's kind of like a giant microwave. It takes away the frying part so we don't have any grease in our food. So the first thing we did was get rid of uh, tilting skillets and get rid of deep fryers because that is what was causing a lot of energy to be spent in the kitchen. We were also cr helping create a lot more healthier lunches for the kids. Our challenge was to see if we couldn't reduce energy consumption to re really about 75 percent below the average school. We were told there was impossible to achieve. And now we have had people from all over the world come to see this building. We've had people from India, we've had people from France, we've had people from all over the United States come to this rural community to see. So what we have created is a diamond in the rough. This is a kind of an example of how our solar panels work. Our students take a lead in helping our teachers understand how we can implement energy conservation in the curriculum. First it goes through the heat pump, then the pump. We have projects that they work on throughout the year. They also take it home to their families, and that's a very important aspect of what we do here. Richardsville Elementary School is proof that you can build a net zero school and make it work. Or every dollar that we don't have to pay the utility company is a dollar that we can give back to our kids and our teachers and our staff. I think uh, every school district should definitely entertain the idea of building a net zero school. Innovators are hard at work. We can make climate action a reality. Together, we're on the road forward. <laughs>